Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live from Vietnam. This is our morning time, drive time update, guys, and we got lots to talk about. We're seeing that right now the total Bitcoin supply left on exchanges is only just above 13%. Last month it was at 16%. So guys, go figure what is going on as we see more and more Bitcoin flying off the exchanges. That just means that eventually there's going to be such a huge supply shock that, you know, retail investors, we're not going to be able to buy Bitcoin anymore. Uh, we're also seeing that Russia has now uh, recognized Bitcoin and cryptocurrency as a legal currency. So that is big in the house. we got lots of news to talk about. We're going to cover all the news. we got this crazy couple that, uh, you know, uh, got arrested with $3.6 billion worth of uh, Bitcoin. Guys, for the Bitfinex uh, hack, are these people the real masterminds behind it? Or are they just the scapegoats? Are they just the bag people. I mean, we're going to talk about that as well. Also, Dogecoin. Can you believe it? Dogecoin is finally above 16 cents. Finally. Booyah, guys. I've never, ever seen this before, guys. So let's jump into it. Remember, this is not financial advice. This is just the OG in the house expressing his opinion. And I'm not a licensed financial advisor. So with that out of the way, let's go down the crypto rabbit hole with the OG in the house. Go back and watch other my, my other videos, guys. So we saw that yesterday the uh, broader markets were looking pretty positive. So that was good. So you know, that's another reason why we saw Bitcoin and the, most of the cryptocurrencies go uppity up up. We're going to jump into the heat map in a second, guys. So keep watching. Don't, don't, don't click away. We're seeing that the pre-markets are a little bit mixed right now. But it's too early to tell. We could see a big turnaround coming around soon. So if we look at the heat map in the house, we're seeing that Bitcoin is above $44,000. So that is very good. We had that huge, huge rejection at $45,000 where things went down, dee -dee -dee -dee, down, down. But, you know, it played out in our favor. We're back up again. We're seeing that uh, Ethereum is also up, -dee up, up. We're seeing the Bitcoin dollars is still a little bit too high for my liking. And you can see that, you know, if you look at the leverage apes in the house, ooh, 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 the leverage apes, we've got about $126 million and people got wrecked and uh, most of that in the last 24 hours has been long positions so a lot of long positions have been wrecked and you know and you're seeing that you know there's a lot of manipulation going on in my opinion you can see that you know in the last hour or so you know predominantly we're doing the shorts now it's look, looking like the longs so you know we're seeing a little bit of manipulation a little bit of whale action going on pushing the market market makers are pushing either up or down they're just trying to build up some liquidity i still believe that we're going to see bitcoin going to explode to the moon guys we're seeing the fear and greed right now is uh, predominantly neutral right now we're down a little bit from where we were yesterday so i still think there's a good buying opportunity for the bd in the house for dogecoin and most of the uh, layer one solutions out there uh, so layer one solutions are looking pretty Pretty good. We're going to talk about Polymatic. Polymatic looks like it could be set to explode up to about two dollars and forty-five cents. Now we've got the big, the big, the big Gahuna news in the house, guys. We got the CPI data coming out uh, in probably in about uh, eleven to twelve hours, depending on what time you watch this video. So it's coming out at eight thirty a.m. So keep an eye on that. This is going to be pivotal for the crypto markets. This is going to tell us if we're going to go up, we're going to go down, or we're just going to go sideways. So if it's good news, we're going up. If it's bad news, we're going down, like a, like the Titanic. And if it's just kind of of what we expected that will also th make things go up so it's anybody's guess what's going on guys so this is the big news i've never seen this before guys bitcoin supply and exchanges hits a new multi-year low now in previous months it was 16 percent. we're seeing that the amount of bitcoin on exchanges so you know the amount of Bitcoin on centralized exchanges is getting lower and lower and lower. And, you know, more than 90% of the Bitcoin out there has been mined. It's absolutely been mined. So the, the thing about uh, Bitcoin is we're not making it anymore. It's truly deflationary. Unlike oil, you know, if, if we start running out of oil, we can dig for more. Gold. If, we, if gold supplies get low, we can start digging for more. Uh, you know, if stocks if stocks start to uh, get low, they can split the stock. But with uh, Bitcoin, it's there's we're not making more, guys. So this just goes to set, show us that with the limited supply on exchanges, it means that you and me, the retail investor, it's going to get harder and harder and harder to buy Bitcoin on exchanges. And right now, as I said, 90% of the Bitcoin, it's out of there. It's been mined. It's in circulation. And, you know, large corporations like Tesla, Grayscale, the miners, countries, they're holding Bitcoin like crazy. I mean, even look at the U.S. The U.S. government now is holding $3.6 billion worth of Bitcoin. So they're probably going to sell that off, uh, you know, probably auction it off. But if I was a federal government, I would hold on to that baby uh, like never before. So what does this tell you? It tells you that, you know, 
if we're at 16% uh, in previous months and now we're down 13%, in the next couple of months, this could be below 10%. And that's why I believe that in um, springtime and summertime, it's going to be a wild ride for Bitcoin, for crypto in the house. And we could be seeing things going crazy out there. So you know, this is just coming. It looks like Microsoft, Microsoft seeks a crypto business director to build Web3. So it looks like Microsoft is also, you know, they had that... Uh, you know, they had that whole uh, $64 billion buy of Activision. Now they understand the power of Web3. I think this Zuckerberg still doesn't quite get it. Uh, but there's been some there's been some rumor that he's going to be buying Sandbox, and that's part of the a Animoca brand right now. And we're seeing that Animoca has also just got a huge, huge amount of money that's been going into Animoca brand. And Animoca brand, uh, you know, which is responsible for Sandbox and the huge ape into uh, gaming verse, is worth about $10 trillion. We're seeing $9 trillion asset management company BlackRock to add. Bitcoin trading service. So that is cool beans. So it looks like uh, from Coindesk, it reports that sources close to developments within BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager with over 10 trillion assets under management, say that the firm has plans around cryptocurrency. The plans involve allowing customers, which include some of the biggest investment firms, to trade cryptocurrencies through its integrated investment management platform called Aladdin. So once again, we're still seeing that corporations and companies are still aping into crypto. You know, we just had KPMG, $32 billion uh, auditing firm. They said that they're gonna, they bought Bitcoin and Ethereum. So that is another reason why I do not think that the bull run is over for crypto. I don't think the bull run is over for Bitcoin. I still think we could be seeing all-time highs coming in soon. So this is cool beans, guys. I hate this pop-up. Get out of there, pop -ups. So we're seeing that El Salvador plans to issue its first Bitcoin bond next month. So that is bullish. You know, El Salvador is the first country that a Bitcoin is legal tender, guys. Keep watching. We're going to talk about Dogecoin. We're going to talk about Dogecoin sentiment and all that. So keep watching. Smash the likes and don't panic in the house, guys. Things are looking Looking pretty good in the house. So Polygon Matic right now, it uh, looks like the price is ready to take out the 245 level. Are you buying at the current levels? So, you know, we're seeing that uh, right now Polygon uh, uh, booked some gains on Wednesday. So Polygon is looking pretty good. The price struggled below the 50-day moving average. But I think that we're going to break past that, uh, the descending triangle. And I think we could be seeing $2.45 coming in for Polymatic. So for me, Polymatic is a long-term hold. I think this is a layer one solution, has a lot of upside guys and a lot of dApps and apps are being built on top of it so it's a it's a cool project guys absolutely cool project so don't discount polymatic in the house some other news that's coming in more popular say hey, what do we know about the bizarre couple that uh, charged with uh, the bitfinex hack well you know, we, we know that these uh, two people, they were arrested uh, by the uh, State Department, you know, Heather Morgan and Isla in the house. And these are kind of like some wacky, controversial kind of internet celebrities. One was a bit of a rapper. Uh, you know, the they have uh, blogs and posts about uh, social engineering hacks and all this kind of stuff. So it's kind of weird and wacky. I mean, from my perspective, I think this couple, they're not the main actors behind this whole uh, Bitfinex thing. I think, they're the, I think they're the bad people out there because they just don't seem to be, you know, I mean, they were like controversial. One is a rapper. They got podcasts. They got YouTube. Uh, one was a, a, for, a, a, a Forbes uh, columnist. So, I mean, for me, uh, I mean, if I, if, if, if I was involved in some kind of Bifinex thing, I would be like, keeping quiet, keeping calm, keeping under the radar, but these people were not. So, I mean, I just don't believe these these are the actors by. That's just my personal opinion. So let's take a look at uh, Doge social sentiment out there right now. So right now we're seeing that Dogecoin is just about, just at 16 cents in the house, depending on what uh, exchange you're looking at. So we're seeing that the total bullish sentiment has risen right now. So we can see that the bullish sentiment here on the right is up 13.6%, was down yesterday. People are like Debbie Downing on the, on the Doge. Doge going to the moon, guys, and average sentiment is 1.46. Social contributors coming down. A lot of the social contributors right now are, are aping into Shiba Inu because they want to get views, they want to get clicks, guys. Social dominance is 34.4%. Social engagement is down. Like I said, people are aping, aping, aping into the uh, Shiba Inu right now because it's making some moves, right? We got the metaverse, we got Shibarian coming, all that kind of stuff. So the total social volume right now for uh, uh, Dogecoin is down 1%. So that's not not not, not positive in house. And if we look at the token summary right now in the house, let me give this a minty refresh. 
So basically, we're almost at 16 cents uh, right now, 55 are in the money, 41% out, and the uh, I'm mostly bearish right now on the Dogecoin. Let's take a look at the price chart and let's see what's going on. So uh, according to my chart on the uh, the uh, Dogecoin uh, on Binance, we're exactly at 16 cents, guys. So 16 cents has been a huge, huge wall, wall of doom out there, and we need to get uh, past the yellow line, the yellow brick road, and if we can do that, it's going to be clear, clear sailing to the upside, and things are looking good for a dogecoin if we can definitely be breaking past the uh we can definitely be breaking past uh, 16 cents. So we need to get up there. I'm pretty confident we're going to get up there. What do you guys think? So like I said, the smooth sailing above uh, 16 cents. So we need to get up there. We need to get it, get it, get it. Let's get it right now. So let's take a look at the Shiba Inu in the house right now. So Shiba Inu is just, it broke up to the upside and it, it keeps getting uh, slammed back down to the 30, 35 level. Right now it's trading at uh, about 32 in the house. So overall things are looking pretty good for the Shiba Webi. We had a good explosion to the upside up almost 60% in the last week let's take a look at the bitcoin let you get out of here so bitcoin right now is just above forty four thousand dollars it's got some huge resistance at uh, forty five thousand so we need to get back up there if we look at if we look at my uh, parallel channel on the on the daily basis we're looking okay from the parallel channel we're still very much above the parallel channel which has been holding as a huge support uh for some time now so this is looking pretty good i mean i am happy i'm happy we're gonna see uh, the the volumes a little bit like because people are gonna be waiting for cpi data but overall i think the crypto market is positive i think we're still in a bull run and i think we're going to approach all-time highs coming soon so if we look at uh, if we look at bitcoin on the uh, weekly chart we're still seeing that we're well above our horizontal support line which was resistance line for uh, for so long so things are looking pretty positive for bitcoin things are looking pretty positive overall for crypto in the house let's take a look at ethereum ethereum is doing very good right now it's uh, just over uh, 3200 dollars and it's trading exactly in my uh, in my upper sloping channel so that is pretty good we have support at the white line resistance at the uh, red line and we could be clocking in at thirty five hundred dollars pretty soon let's take a look at uh, phantom in the house phantom is also following my resistance line and right now we are two dollars uh, and 22 cents so it's looking pretty good we got some resistance over here at uh, two dollars and 40 cents we're gonna get past it. i wouldn't worry about it too much and it looks like solana is uh just breaking down below my support line uh this could this is i'm not gonna paint it red as, as resistance i think we're still gonna get there and we're at 113 dollars 126 is our current resistance level let's take a look at the total market cap right now in the house the market cap has come up from yesterday it's 2.06 trillion the volumes are light right now and the uh, bitcoin doms is at 40.75 let's take a look at the coinage in the house right now and uh, so we're seeing uh you know bitcoin is still positive ethereum is still pretty much positive it's up 3.4 percent it's outperforming bitcoin right now we're seeing bnb is also up as well ada is uh down from where it was yesterday but it's still in positive territory Solana is making me not happy. It's down again. It's down over half a percent. Luna is down two percent. Dot is, you know, almost neutral. Avalanche is up. The Doja Wozier is up one point seven nine percent, and that's at sixteen cents, depending on what exchange you're looking at. And also, we're seeing that uh, the Shiba Inu is outperforming everything right now. It's, it's a darling of crypto right now. It's up fifty six percent in the last seven days. So overall, it's looking pretty good. I mean, we're seeing about seventy five percent of the cryptocurrencies are in the green, and the rest are in the red so it's not too bad not too shabby guys and gals don't forget to go and follow me on my twitter go down there we're getting pretty close to uh to uh 4,000 followers so we're about 25 short go down there and follow 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 get it we're, we're sharing the tips the tricks all sorts of good stuff guys go get it don't forget to go down there smash the likes and subscribe go follow my links guys remember this is not financial advice it never is financial advice and uh, become a patreon member uh, buy the channel of coffee guys and check out the merch guys we also got an nft collection uh go check that out guys you're gonna want to love it go check out the nft collection the links down below and go check out the wifi wifi's channel go do it right now get to wifi wifi's channel guys and and I just want to say, check out the merch, gear up with OG gear. And with that being said, guys, things are looking pretty good overall. God bless you. I'll see you in the next one. This is just a quick one. Things are looking pretty good. Uh, Bitcoin supply is going down, de -de 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 down, down. That only means one thing, that Bitcoin price is going to go up. And when that happens, we're going to see Dogecoin launch to the moon. And we know we're, Dogecoin is pretty much over 16 cents. So that's what we want to be. We want to stay above there. If we can see a beautiful 16.5, 17 cents coming in for Dogecoin, that's going to be fantastic because then that gives us a clear moonshot tonight. 19 cents guys so overall i'm bullish i'm positive on crypto you should be too god bless you i'll see you in the next one Woo! peace out guys peace out let's get it guys